Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about an integrator. This is the circuit of the integrator. A circuit performs integration to the input waveform. This is the waveform. One is a square waveform input given and there is a sine wave. In the feedback path, we have connected the capacitor. It is basically an inverting amplifier. But feedback, we have a capacitor. V1 is grounded, hence the voltage is 0. And V2 is also 0 because of the virtual ground concept. The difference between the V1 and V2 should be 0. And the current IIO flowing into the op amp is 0 because the op amp input resistance is infinity. And I1 is given by V in minus V2 divided by R1. Two voltage difference divided by R1. Whereas V2 is 0, hence the I1 will be V in divided by R1. IF is a current flowing through the capacitor and IF is given by C into DVC by DT. Whereas the VC is a capacitor voltage. This is the IF what I am talking about. Now the voltage across the capacitor is given by V0 and V2. This is the difference between V2 and V0 because current is flowing from like this. Hence it is a V2 minus V0 I am substituting. We also know that V2 is equal to 0. Hence IF equal to I will rewrite. It is a minus C D V0 by DT and I1 is already Discussed in the previous slide, it is V in by R1. We know that I1 is this, IF is given by as well as I1 is given by these two equations. And applying a KCL to the inverting terminal at this point, we can write IF equal to I1. Reason is current flowing through the op amp is 0, hence whatever the current is flowing here, the same current will flow in the feedback path also because current into the op amp is 0. Hence I can write I1 equal to IF and simply I1 and IF value I am filling and rearranging just to get D V0 equal to minus V in by R1 into C into DT. Integrating both sides so that I can get V0. So integrating both sides LHS as well as RHS side I wrote this equation. We can pause, we can rewind Try to understand. So output voltage I will get V0 of T minus V0 of 0 equal to 1 by R1 into C integration V in into DT minus. Now if an initial capacitor voltage is 0 then V0 of T is given by minus 1 by RC into integration V in DT. Output is directly proportional to negative integral of input. This is the input output waveforms and the input is a square wave then output is a negative triangular wave. When the input is a sine wave then the output is negative cosine wave. Consider practical integrating. Now let us consider this is a circuit diagram we are using if a small voltage is there at the v, V2 or inverting terminal, a DC voltage, this blocks a DC and gain becomes infinity, hence the output V0 goes to the saturation. To avoid this situation, a resistor will be connected across the capacitor. Input is applied. Then C starts charging and this is a path for the C starts charging. The output is measured between this V0 and the ground terminal. When I say V1 is grounded, V2 is a virtual ground. Output is measured between the V0 and the ground or V0 and this terminal. Hence, the output voltage increases in the negative because this becomes a negative this becomes a positive and the slope 
depends on RC time constant. This slope depends upon RC time constant. This is a positive, this is a negative. And charging up to T1 period, let us consider this is a high up to T1 time period. After T1 input voltage suddenly changes to a negative. It was positive earlier, now it becomes suddenly a negative. Because this changes to negative, capacitor cannot change its polarity suddenly because it is already charged a negative up to certain voltage. It has to discharge to zero, then it should change the direction of charging. Hence, this is a now we can say it will discharge towards a zero. Again, slope of this depends upon RC. This slope and this slope will remain same. Hence, RC time constant is same in both the cases. This is a positive and negative, and voltage will start reducing up to zero. When the capacitor start discharging, when it reaches zero, when it will reach zero at the same time period, T1 only, and T1 equal to T2, it will reach the zero. Because slope is same, because RC time constant is same. The input again changes to positive. When it reaches zero, suddenly input changes to positive. Again, capacitor will start charging like a positive and negative previous to what you have discussed for the T1. This cycle repeats continuously. If a T2 becomes more than T1, there is a chance that output may cross zero and may go towards positive. This is an important point which you have to understand. Pause it, read it again, try to understand. This is the way how the capacitor charges. Positive and negative. Thank you. These are the references. Thanks for watching this video. Share this video if you like. And please subscribe this channel. Thank you.